Hello all, the much anticipated uh, LIC IPO is here. LIC was uh, formed by the LIC Act 1956 where 245 small insurance companies and provident societies were merged to form the Life Insurance Corporation of India. LIC is India's uh, largest insurance company. In terms of the gross premium collected, it is the fifth largest company of the world. In terms of assets under management, it is the 10th largest uh, company of the world. It holds the largest assets in India close to 39.5 trillion which is 3.3 uh, times of the private insurance assets under management and 1.1 times of the entire Indian mutual fund. Its assets under management represent 18.5% of India's uh, GDP in FY22. It's got the biggest agent network in India. Close to 55% of life insurance agents are empaneled with the LIC. It's got 72 bank assurance partners, 174 alternate channel partners, 13 regional and cooperative banks, 4,400 point of sales for its life insurance business and it also has a digital sales channel. Companies 60.9% of the premium comes from participating policies. Now participating policies are the policies wherein the surplus is distributed back to the policy holders in the form of dividends which ensures stickiness of the customers for a longer period of time. Uh, LSE's agent network is the most productive in India with the new business profit per agent standing at 4.12 lakhs as against 1.25 lakhs of industry average. So all these numbers are very big which works in favor of the LIC. Now let's look at the investment portfolio of LIC. 37.5% of its investments are in central government securities, 24.6% with state government securities, 24.7% in equities and the remaining 8% in corporate bonds. Now 95% of the debt portfolio of LIC are in sovereign or AAA rated bonds. 90% of its equity investments are in BSC and NSC 200 companies. As of September 2021, LIC's investment represent 4% of NSE's market cap. Life insurance penetration in India is projected to go up due to various enabling factors such as increased per capita GDP, increased urbanization, increased FDI which is currently at 74% which was earlier at 49% and lower insurance penetration. Uh, the second strength of LIC would be the most productive and the biggest agent network in India. Third, uh, LIC's market share of 64.1% is 8 times the nearest competitor which is SBI Life Insurance which is at 8% market share. To top all these trends, only 0.2% of LIC premium comes from market link policies against 39.3% for private insurance companies which thereby ensures lower correlation to market volatility. Obviously not everything is positive. There are certain weaknesses also. Let's see what are the weaknesses. First and the biggest weakness is that LIC works like a government company uh, thereby raising questions on its efficiency which may allow private companies in future to move ahead of it. Second, LIC's gross premium addition and the new business premium addition is at 9 and 14 percent. Uh, which is lesser than the private insurance uh, average of 18%. Thus, we can say that LIC is gradually losing the market share. Third, LIC's investment decisions are influenced by government. We have seen in the past that how LIC has been asked to bail out stress companies like IDBI. Fourth, LIC has recently altered its surplus distribution policy from 95% in favor of the policyholders to 90% now in favor of policyholders which in turn may lead to less attractiveness of its participating policies which currently contributes to 60% of its total premium collections. So uh, we have discussed the LIC IPO, its business, its strengths, its weaknesses. Uh, all this is for educational purposes only. Please consult a SEBI registered financial investor before making an investment decision. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.